I be? I kissed her and she kissed me Like the fella once said Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> One of gaming's best-loved franchises returns with a brand new 3D adventure, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, on the PS3 and Xbox 360. To most fans of the series, Castlevania games should be strictly 2D. You should see you trolling through castles, backtracking, and when you get new weapons and equipment, finally confronting Dracula in a battle of good versus the ultimate evil, a fight to the death. Like James Corden and Patrick Stewart at Glamour Awards. Castlevania Lords of Shadow certainly ticks the boxes of some of these features, but a 2D romp it is not. Forget Symphony of the Night or Dawn of Sorrow, think instead more God of War. The God of War comparison is one most people will recognise quite quickly, and let's be honest, it's not a bad game to be compared to. You take control of Gabrielle Belmont, wearing a cape and brandishing a whip-like weapon, and within a quarter of an hour, you'll have already caught a creature many games would be happy to call a boss character. Here though, it's merely an appetiser. Gabriel is a bit dull and stupid though. I mean, I'm sure after you've had a load of werewolves trying to rip your head off, you wouldn't flinch in twatting a talking horse. I hear you seek the guardian of the lake. What's that? It's blue, so that means it's good. Oh, that's alright. Thankfully, Gabriel has brought his horse riding instruction book. Hold on a second, boys. Let me just see how I work this. Dig in heels, pull veins, hold on. OK, I think I've got it now. Bollocks. The title looks spectacular, and the areas you venture to diverse, starting in rain-sodden villages through icy wastelands, all the way through to a seriously impressive castle. Wait. You'll never look around your surroundings and think the developers could have made a bit more of an effort. The same goes for the overall production values. Robert Carlyle voices Gabriel and Patrick Stewart plays narrator, although it doesn't really sound like he's putting his heart and soul into it. Mankind faces ruin and despair. The world is changing, yet hope remains in the hearts of the people. Perhaps he wasted all his energy abusing James Corden. You can just hear the recording session, can't you? Go on, Patrick. Just a bit more energy. Ignorant Come on, like please, Patrick. What's that noise? It's the sound of me putting a wad of tenors in my back pocket. I'm only doing this for the beer money. Oh, oh, OK. No problem. OK, bye. Bye. Sit. Bye, Patrick. I barely knew we should have hired Sir Ian McKellen. What do you mean, who? Gandalf, you prick! Veterans will be pleased to hear that this is a challenging title, too with upwards of 20 hours just to go through the main quest, and about double that if you want to go back and revisit areas if you want to try and 100% it. It's certainly not an easy press one or two buttons and wander around for 20 hours kind of game either, unlike similar titles which have been released recently. So Castlevania Lords of Shadows is an attractive, entertaining, challenging title. Throw in Hideo Kojima's involvement and you've got a perfect game, haven't you? Well, not quite. There's the platforming to talk about. It's here where the game struggles a bit. It often feels as though you can't quite tell where you're supposed to be jumping to, and that the jumps are unnecessarily harsh in how precise you need to execute them. And why, in God's name, do we always have these sequences where you have to tap the X button to pull down a wall, or open a door? Oh, it's supposed to make you relate more to the action on the screen. Well, it doesn't. It just pisses me off. These things don't ruin the game, though. They might make me a bit more edgy than most, but they will annoy you just enough to make you notice, maybe want to shout or throw something a little bit. So, a 3D Castlevania game which tips its hat to God of War and Shadow of the Colossus, with sky-high production values and a good 20 hours of gaming, that can be found for about 18 quid right now. That's too good an offer to miss, isn't it? Right, where's James Corden? I need to tell him he's fat. What's that? He knows he's fat. It's why people like him. But someone needs to tell Patrick before he makes a right tit of himself. Too late? Never mind. I bet Gandalf won't do anything like that.